Hi, welcome to Welcome Hamster. Today I'm going to demonstrate how I set up the Loftec Nexus 543 wireless outdoor camera. So I couldn't use the CD. Uh, the CD that came with this product, for some reason, it just wouldn't read in my DVD drive. So instead, I just went to the Loftec website. The website is loftec.us. And at this website, all I did was just click on download. And here I choose the model. Nexus 543, and the one I download is the very first one, the Nexus 543 CD. So I have everything in that CD folder or that, that little RAR file extracted here. So that's the B search underscore en. So with this one, I'm just gonna hit search F3. So I found the IP cameras on my network. The number one, this one, this is the Loftec Nexus 543. With number two, this is one of my other IP cameras, the one I would use to watch my son. Now, this IP camera, the one by Loftec, by default, it's not set to automatically get the IP from the router. It's hard-coded with a certain IP address, which is shown here. So the default IP address is 192.168.0.178. This will not work on my network. Um, if you just take a look at my, what my son has, is 192.168.1 not a dot zero is a dot one so with the loft tech is dot zero and I'm sure what happens if I hit browse right now so if I try to go to the 178 it does not load nothing ever comes back so I can either change this to a one just so that it matches the IP, uh, IP address naming convention of the router in my home or I can, I can just simply click on set IP automatically and then just come back later on and change it Either one's fine. For the HTTP port, I'm just going to leave it at 80 for now. And the default username to this is admin, A-D-M-I-N. Default password is 123456. So I'm going to set it to, let me, let me just pick one, one IP that I know is not being used at my home. I'm going to pick, uh, pick 170. I'm going to choose update. Yes update successfully. So now the device is going to restart. It takes roughly about 30 seconds to restart. The restart just finished. Now the scanning again. The first device that I detected was the my baby monitor. Let's hit refresh. Okay, now I found the Loftec. And this time the IP address looks accurate. I'm going to hit, click browse. Now it's ask, prompting me for my login information. Login is admin. Default password is one, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Now I have a couple of choices: Safari mode, Firefox. But since I'm using Internet Explorer, I'm just going to choose the first one. And on top, I'm going to say yes. Run this ActiveX. And it always brings me back to this lot, this main window again. All right. So that's my son's uh, stuffed animal from Nintendo Dogs. Any of you old school folks? Might know what Nintendo dogs are. I'm gonna choose the let's see, I'm choose the resolution 640 by 480. All right, so now it's basically all set up. Once you're able to connect to the the camera, the first thing that you should always do is change the user ID and password because you don't want other people connecting to it. So I'm just gonna change this password. And what I would always recommend is don't use admin. Just create another account. Like I'm going to create another account right here called guest and just give a password. And you can even give this the second account administrator rights and now just hit submit. Next, I'm going to add this wireless camera to my network. I'm going to network tab. I'm going to choose wireless settings. Now I can just scan for my wireless network. If the first scan that does not come up, it's fine. Just click scan again. So I'm going to choose my network. Submit. Now it's going to take another 30 seconds to reboot. I have unplugged the Ethernet cable from the Loftec Nexus 543. And just to prove it, I'm actually holding it right here. This part where the Ethernet cable went into, well, it's not plugged in. I actually just moved the camera closer to me rather than being next to my router. So power cord is connected, 
the reset buttons here, Ethernet port, nothing is plugged in. So now it's, everything is running off the wireless antenna. Just pan around the room. Now, if you're going to leave this outdoors, nothing I, I would recommend is to take off the sticker over here. Is this sticker basically tells folks your DDNS host name, your default user ID, and your default password. Yes, I know you're going to change it because I suggested it, but still, you might as well just take this piece off here, this little sticker. I hope you guys found this video useful. This was a setup guide for the Loftech Nexus 543 outdoor wireless IP camera. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to send to me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.